again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 25th of January, 2019. Just read a rather interesting, somewhat surprising article. Title, Trump announces short-term deal to end government shutdown with no wall funding. The 35-day closure, the longest in U.S. history, has furloughed 800,000 federal employees while the president and the Democrats battle over the wall. Hmm. There's an embedded video. Trump threatens another shutdown without fair deal on border wall. This is written by Jonathan Allen, Kristen Welker, Lee Allen Codwell, and Jane C. Tim, T-I-M-M. -M. Takes four people to write an article, huh? President Donald Trump on Friday announced a short-term deal to temporarily reopen the government, ending the longest closure in U.S. history. He really doesn't know what he's doing, you know. He's getting piss-poor advice from his piss-poor cabinet members. The stopgap agreement with congressional leaders will last three weeks until February the 15th and will allow talks to continue over border security and a wall on the southern border. The agreement includes no new money for his wall and is a massive concession on his behalf after refusing a similar funding package a month ago. In a short term, I will sign a bill to reopen the government for three weeks until February 15, Trump said in the White House Rose Garden. I will make sure that our employees receive their back pay very quickly, or as soon as possible. What does he think is going to change between now and the 15th of February? The Democrats aren't going to give him an inch. Some leaders said the government would reopen soon. Now that there is an agreement between the Democrats and the White House, we can make that happen. Majority Leader Senator Chuck McConnell said, adding that the bill would be passed on Friday. Uh, what kind of an agreement? There is no agreement. These people are all insane. Now that there is an agreement between the Democrats and the White House, the President has agreed to our request to open the government, then debate border security, Minority Leader Chuck Schumer uh, of New York tweeted. <laughs> At least some on the right criticized Trump for coming away from the shutdown with very little at this point. How about with nothing? Hmm? The president said he expected congressional negotiators to get on border security legislation shortly, but he spent much of his remarks Friday touting the benefits of a wall and he threatened to use his national emergency power if he doesn't get what he wants. Well, he should stop screwing around and use his national emergency power and get the wall. This is a joke. We really have no choice but to build a powerful wall or a steel barrier, Trump said. If we don't get a fair deal from Congress, the government will either shut down again on February 15th or I will use the power afforded to me under the law in the Constitution of the United States to address this emergency. You got to stop playing with the government employees, Donald. You know, you're threatening them again and you're holding another shutdown over their head February the 15th. Stop screwing around. Stop listening to your worthless cabinet members. Those rarely used powers might allow the president to use money to build a wall without receiving congressional authorization. McConnell called on Democrats to negotiate in good faith on a full year government funding bill that would include a significant investment in urgently needed border security measures, including physical barriers. Trump announced the deal 35 days into the longest partial government closure in U.S. history that left an estimated 800 thousand federal employees without pay and created a host of problems. What kind of deal did he get? Trump announced the deal? <laughs> On Thursday, the president said that if McConnell and Schumer were able to reach a reasonable agreement to end the shutdown, he would support it. The shutdown began December 22nd, 
and left, left approximately 400,000 workers home from work without pay, while another 400,000 were required to be on the job without pay. The workers will receive back pay under the agreement. I, I mean, you know, you can't make this shit up, right? The guy doesn't know what he's doing. What kind of a, an agreement do they have? As the shutdown bore on, polls found that more Americans were blaming the president and his numbers began to slip. Problems across the country have mounted over the past four weeks. Security lines at airports grew as TSA workers called out sick. And on Friday, airports across the Northeast experienced major delays as air traffic controllers grappled with staff shortages amid the shutdown. Law enforcement operations were also delayed and court proceedings stalled. You should shut down half of these courts. National parks, museums, and federally funded institutions closed their doors, too. All right, so what am I missing? Huh? <laughs> Trump announced the deal. What deal? There is no deal. Like I said, he doesn't know what he's doing. And he's listening to his worthless cabinet members that are steering him into a dead end. That's sort of what I think. I'll attach the link. Watch the embedded videos. Let me know what you think. Thanks for listening. The whole thing is nuts.